In this video, I'm going to cover using the image trace feature in Adobe Illustrator CS6. I covered this in a past video much more thoroughly. This one's going to be a quick video, I promise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my image into my layer. I have an image trace layer right there, and I'm going to go File Place while I'm on that layer and choose my photograph just like so and now I'm going to go ahead and trace that image using the image trace feature it's located at the top um, of your control panel if you go to window control you'll see this panel right here at the top of your screen or you can go object live trace and make I'm just gonna click that way and hit make it's giving me a warning because this is a really big image it's gonna give me a really bad result like you see right there as well so I'll show you how to adjust this right here I'm gonna go to window image trace and this gives you the image trace menu which is important to use if you're using anything with this tool um, you can adjust your threshold right here and tweak it if it's a high contrast image this works quite well or can work quite well um, for example if I just wanted to trace that stem I could bring that threshold back and just use the stem part of this design it's not really working quite how I want it for this photograph though um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to um, the presets you got a bunch of presets right here by the way you have several presets in these little icons here as well they're the same thing I usually use the drop down menu because I like to be able to read what I'm doing um, but if you use this over and over you might be acclimated to use one of those icons um, so go down to um, any of these whichever one you choose I'm gonna choose 16 colors to start with it's gonna convert my image to 16 colors if you choose one of the other um, presets it will convert it to whatever it says so so if you want the three colors it can do three colors six colors and so on if you want shades of gray you can convert it to a grayscale image um, of course black and white image is the default um, actually excuse me the black and white logo preset is the default and um, you can also try out some of these um, more effect style tracing techniques line art technical drawing and silhouettes are what I'm referring to there those are more they look more like filters so this is what 16 colors gives me if I bump this up to th I can bump it up to 30 colors it'll retrace it for me in 30 colors so if I was to count all the colors that you see in this design right now it's only 16 colors since I bumped it up to 30 it's going to give me 30 colors instead I'm going to hit stop there it's taking a while to render because this is a high resolution photo which I really shouldn't have started with but that's okay I'm just going to go with it um, I'm going to choose I'm going to hit stop again I'm going to choose the preset high fidelity photo um, so when I do that it switches my palette to full tone um, you can also do this manually if you have three or six or whatever your preset is chosen you can go down to palette right down here at the bottom of your image trace um, panel and you can choose full tone right here since this is a high resolution image if I choose automatic it's gonna be the same as full tone and when you see colors change right down here at this bottom slider it's replaced your threshold so now I'm, I'm I can adjust my colors instead of my threshold and it's maximized that color setting out to a hundred so it's giving me all the colors that are possible for this design and that's what I'm that's what I want that's what I'm gonna use this for I'm actually just gonna use the stem part of this and you'll see how the, that turns out for me in a second um, and I also actually did this earlier so you can see what it looks like as I did it earlier so here's my design it did trace it if I zoom way into it actually let me zoom this way into it you'll see the tracing it's a little hard to see from a distance because it does look like a photograph but there is there are vectors in there um, by vectors I mean it traced it automatically for me if you click this advanced tab you can change the path fitting the corner emphasis as well as the noise those are all details of your design so if you play around with that just depends on the photograph you start with but you can play around with that and get better results as as needed every one of those will take time to change though so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go straight on to the next result because I kinda like how it turned out and like I said all I really want is that stem 
So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to choose expand right up here at the top bar. Again, I can go the long way and go object um, image trace and click expand right there. Either way, it does the same thing. Um, so click expand and it actually converts this into a traced object. These are all the paths it created. If I go to view and show outline, you can see all those paths. Hundreds, thousands of paths it created there for me. I'm going to go back to view and choose preview now so I can see it in full color. Um, it is a lagging on me a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and start deleting stuff. There's three tools you can use to delete things. There is the direct selection tool, there is the magic wand, and there's the lasso. I'm going to show you all three right here real quick. Here's the direct selection tool. You just click and drag click and drag to the left or to the right and hit delete or backspace twice on your keyboard um, hit delete or backspace after you select it so click drag hit delete or backspace next tool I will show you is the lasso tool works very similar to that tool you just click and drag to make an irregular um, shape click it and hit delete twice excuse me and it deletes whatever you have selected so click and drag to select an area hit delete twice it deletes it the last tool is the perhaps the most useful tool um, for this is the magic wand you just click on an area it chooses the paths that are the same colors as this path so if I click on a light area like you see here it's clicking all the light area paths all the paths with the light colors in them um, so you just hit delete and hit delete and click and hit delete just click and hit delete and so it gets rid of a lot of paths really quickly and you can do stuff like that if you want um, maybe maybe not so there you go there's the tools you can use and what I'm gonna actually do because I just want that stem I'm gonna use the lasso tool and I'm gonna choose my stem by drawing an ellipse around it uh, let me zoom in I can't do this from a distance I'm gonna zoom in here and just select my my um, stem itself and I'm gonna choose select up here at the top and choose inverse because I want to keep the stem I don't want to delete it choose inverse it chooses everything or selects everything except that stem because I have the other layers turns off it didn't select anything except what's on that layer by the way so I'm hitting delete twice it's getting rid of that. Now I'm going to go in there and just select these little areas that I don't want or don't need. Um, I can do this with the magic wand as well um, to select these. It may, that might actually work better because it's going to select all the green paths, green filled paths. And there you go. There's my stem. I can zoom back out and show you what that looks like on my traced image, which I traced with the pen tool. It's a little off because I have it in the wrong spot but after I select it and move it over it looks much more realistic than my original Apple look of course I'm working on that I'm getting there um, but you see that it is a it is a very intricate path it's got a lot of texture to it it was an auto trace path so it's got to have some rough areas to it if you don't want all those pieces in there of course you can go back to the direct selection tool you can adjust the path as I've covered in earlier videos or you can delete the paths that you do not want to create a more refined design and to complete a design that you may have a particular object that you want a custom look for.